Hey everybody, welcome back. We're over on the toy side. It is Area 51. I've got something very special for you today. This is a line of toys that a lot of you probably haven't heard of before. It's from the 80s. Very hard to find. And I was able to find it through Dave and Judy's store, Funny Pages. And I want to show it to you. So let's have a look at what we got going on. So before here. you is uh, a toy line that was out in the 80s and it's called Brave Star. And those of you who don't know what Brave Star is, he is a... Uh, an intergalactic sheriff or an intergalactic cowboy, whatever you want to call him. But he was a sheriff that uh, kind of roamed around the galaxy. So what we have here are actually Brave Star in box. Now the boxes are kind of jacked up. It's kind of interesting. Uh, the gentleman who had these played with them, but he took them out of the box very carefully and when he was done he put them back in the box. So here we have, I believe this is Brave Star right here. Brave Star right here, still with the store sticker on it. We have Tex-Mex, who is one of the bad guys, and these are the, the uh, infrared laser shooters. They have a backpack that go on and they can actually shoot at each other, and the, the backpacks would make noise when they go off. I don't know if they work or not. We're going to take them out and have a look at them. And this is the Skull Rider. This is the, um, oh, the Skull Walker. This is Tex-Mex, or you could put uh, uh, Brave Star on or one of the other ones. But uh, this is one of the ones that I had, or I saw, I was really tempted to buy uh, this when I saw it. Now, I was much older when these came out. I wasn't married yet, but I was going to uh, college. And I walked into, I think, a Toys R Us or something, and I saw them there, and I thought, those are really interesting. And I was very, and I was kind of getting out of the collecting because I was going to college. I was uh, engaged to be married. And, um, you know, this kind of world was being left behind. But I still had the want to collect these, and I remember seeing these. So, like I say, what we're going to do is we're going to pull them out of the box, have a look at them, take some pictures, and then I'm going to put them back in the boxes and, and uh, fix the boxes up so they stay sealed. So, again, Brave Star, if you don't know, look it up. You'll figure out it's a toy line. It was a cartoon as well. I don't think it went more than 12 episodes, and it was kind of done. It was something that just really never um, was, was ex you know, nobody, they just, it didn't go and it kind of died a very short death, but the toys are very hard to find now. And the toys in box are really hard to find, so I lucked out. Uh, Dave and Judy bought this collection, and I'm glad they did. They have a couple more over there, which I'll really have to keep an eye on. Uh, these all have the instructions inside, which is also rare to find. So we're gonna look at all of that. No sense me talking and taking up time here. So uh, we may do all three at once, or we may do just one at a time. I think what we'll probably do is one at a time to save uh, um, time because I don't know if I can get all three and do justice all three. So anyways, let's have a look at these. And we're going to start off with, of course, the star of the show, Brave Star himself. So let's move in and have a closer look at the packaging, get him in the photo booth, talk about him, see if his backpack works, and uh, we'll go from there. So let's do So it. there is the box of uh, Marshall Brave Star, and this came out in 1986. As you can see, the, the box is kind of jacked up. Now, when the gentleman played with this, the, the cellophane is a little damaged here. When the gentleman played with this when he was a kid, he actually opened it from the side, slid everything out, saved the box, and then slid everything back in. He pulled everything out of the blisters, but he put everything back in again. So kudos to him for doing that. Up here is the actual for sale sticker that was at the store. This came from Zellers, uh, a now a long defunct uh, department store that was in Canada. And this is the Laser Fire Brave Star. And uh, he has a little backpack that, uh, you know, they shoot at each other and if you hit they make noises. On the back is some of the information about Brave Star, how to set him up, what he can do. He also comes with a small target practicing thing and some information, His, of course, his bad guy or his, the guy that he hunts down is Tex-Mex, a, a, a bad land swap demon guy. Uh, the side looks good <clears throat> and there he is. We are going to pull him out. Um, in 1987, Brave Star, the animated television cartoon hero, Marshall Bravestar, he's a 23rd century American Indian lawman on a planet called New Texas. He protects the settlers and native people, uh, native prairie people from evil and greedy mining prospector Tex Hex, who is the other guy that uh, I got in this set. He, uh, town leader and Bravestar's friend, Judge J.B. McBride, makes sure that justice is always carried out fairly. So <clears throat> this, uh, I'm not sure how many, I'll, I'll, I'll check and see how many episodes this went. Uh, I'm not really sure why this didn't take off, this toy line or the cartoon. It might have been a few things. Maybe it was just too spacey for some people. I'm not really sure. But uh, 
it is hard set to find now. So what I'm going to do is pull him out and show you what he looks like in the blisters. And like I said, this, this gentleman really took his time with this. So let's uh, pull Marshall Bravestar out of here and have a look at all so of his stuff. So there is Marshall so Bravestar in his blister pack as he comes in the box. There he is there. He's got a, a weapon in his hand. Here is his laser firing backpack. And here is his like... Uh, a temporary target because if you bought this and you didn't buy the Tex-Mex you could set that target up and shoot the laser at that and I'm assuming this makes some sort of noise when you make a direct hit. Also in the um, bag or in the box are these instructions and this is all part of uh, retro toy collecting are these instructions. Uh, this is an integral part. Uh, it, it's not a must to have but it's a real bonus to get these. Uh, and these are, I think these are done in two languages, I think. Uh, yeah, it is. looks like it's German on one side and English on the other. But uh, it is a must to get these instructions. These are, like I say, part of the whole deal. Very nice to have those. So let's get uh, Marshall Bravestar out of his packaging and just see what so he comes with. So there is Marshall Bravestar. We'll just look at him right now on the roundy round. And you can see he comes with a sidearm. He comes with a rifle on his back, and there's also a switch on the back that gives him some arm movement. Now that rifle, uh, that uh, handgun can go into the side right here if you just want to leave his hands open, uh, or he can carry the rifle if you wish as well. His hat does come off, and uh, he is in really good shape considering he was played with as a kid. Now, Brave Star is an American Space Western animated series. The original episodes aired from September 1987 to February 1988. So it didn't go very long. It went, uh, what, five months, six months? Uh, it was created simultane simultaneously with a collection of action figures. So this came out in 86, and the cartoon came out in 87. So this was actually out before the TV series uh, uh, came about and it was run by a company called Filmation and Group W Productions uh, and then it kind of died off. It just really was not uh, received all that well. Now, the idea for Brave Star began with Tex Hex who you will see on the next when I do this and Tex Hex is his chief adversary and uh, Tex Hex was created by Filmation and I thought I recognized him when I saw him because Tex Hex is actually in Ghostbusters uh, he is one of Filmation's characters in Ghostbusters. So they took the Ghostbusters Tex Hex and pulled him over to uh, Brave Star uh, to try and uh, do something with him over there. So the character Tex Hex actually was a Ghostbusters uh, guy before he became a, uh, a Brave Star guy. So uh, yeah, so what we're going to do here, and like I say, this is the laser firing uh, this is the laser firing Brave Star, Marshall Brave Star. And what we're going to do now is we're going to look at what he comes with and uh, then get him suited up and see if we can get that little laser fire uh, item of his to work. So let's see what so he comes with. Marshall Brave Star comes with his uh, pack on the left and uh, that has a battery that goes in it. It slings on his back. And let me just get in here. And this part uh, faces forward and here's your laser firing items right there and you can see the it has like a a chest steel that goes around him and on it goes uh, this item over here is uh, kind of like a practice uh, dummy thing because you may not have gotten the tex hex where they can actually shoot at each other and rebound the lasers back so if you want to do some target practicing this was so the there item is Marshall Brave start with his laser firing backpack on. Now you're supposed to take the vest underneath him off, but it has been on so long that the plastic around the uh, connections is very brittle and I'm really worried about ripping it. So I've left it on and I've just kind of put it on this way just for an easy look. I'll show you what the back looks like. That's what the back looks like. There's the button, the firing button, that big button right there. And then the on and off switch is right there. Got to put a nine volt battery in here and see if he works. So, uh, and he's a little heavy, funny heavy, when he's got this uh, backpack on. So uh, let's find a nine volt and see if we can uh, okay, get this in well, fire. Okay, well, I have to be honest with you. If I was a kid playing with this, I don't think I'd be too happy with it. That backpack thing is hard to get on there. Anyways, you have to take the main vest off. I have to be very careful with this because this vest is kind of a little, it's getting old so it's a little brittle. So that main vest comes off, you pull the uh, rifle out of the vest, 
and then you put this thing on like so. You put the 9 volt battery in the bottom and uh, then he's ready to go but he's, ex he's really uh, back heavy now. He just wants to fall over backwards because you've got a 9 volt battery in there. So we're going to see if he actually works. So uh, okay. let's see if he works. So here's Marshall Bravestar. Now what happens is you got to turn this thing on up here, which you do. And then you got to kind of hold him <laughs> because he's just not going to... And, and when you hit this button, his uh, shooting iron jumps up. And you can hear it looking for a target. So let's aim it at the target and see if we can make connection. There we go. So it bounces back. So that's kind of cool. He does work. Now the idea... Tex-Mex has the exact same thing as this and they uh, shoot at each other so your friend could have one and you could have one and by the change of the tone then you know you've made a hit but uh, <laughs> this is a finicky toy I have to be 100% honest with you uh, I like it but it's finicky as heck I probably would play with it but without the uh, if I was a kid without the laser backpack because it, it's just too much bother and it's so he back heavy you can't really even get him to stand up even if you lean him forward he goes over backwards but I mean there it is there pretty neat looking and like I say when you press the uh, the button and you got to kind of hold him a certain way here when you press the button you get that goes up like that down it comes but when it does hit the target it does go off So that's the review on Marshall Brave Star from 1986. Uh, I'm really have, happy to have found this. I've put him back in the box exactly the way he was supposed to come from the store. I took his weapons all off, put them where they needed to be. The, uh, the cellophane is very brittle and it's got a crack right here. But I fixed the inside of the box, I fixed the sides of the box as best I can. This is, is this mint in box? I don't know, I mean the figure itself is mint. The box is not, but uh, I'm always happy to be able to find an original box and this has the original instructions, has all the pieces, and it actually works. The laser, uh, the laser deal actually works. Now I was thinking about uh, having him and Tex fight each other, but uh, I'm just not going to do that. I'm, I'm just going to do these one at a time. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, review of Bravestar. Tex-Mex will be next and then his Skullwalker. Uh, I will do that at the same time because the Skull Walker is actually for Tex-Mex to ride on. So we're going to find a spot for him to go and I'll show you where all three of them go uh, once I've got them all set up. I'll review them all first. But anyways, let me know if you uh, remember this, if you played with it, if you watched the cartoon, uh, or if you have any recollection of this at all. This is the first Brave Star uh, set that I have seen since I've been collecting hard for the last five years. I've never even seen a hint of a Brave Star. So. To get one in the box that actually works and is mint in box, uh, I'm very happy with it. But like I said, the box is not mint, but the figure sure is. Anyways, thank you. Let me know what you th if you, you had this, and let me know what you think about this. Area 51, home of the superheroes, and uh, hard to find toys, apparently. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.